Hey guys! Today we're making a miniature dwarf or baby bunny. I'm well aware that's not necessarily the same thing unless you have a dwarf baby bunny, but in this case they're equally adorable so I don't really care. Hope you'll enjoy. You first want to take a piece of wire and then just bend the end like this to make an armature. You can then add some clay and begin sculpting the head. The sculpture is not going to have a lot of details. The main thing you want to think about is just making it smaller or more slim than you want the end result, seeing as we're going to be adding fur later. Add the eyes. Then define the nose. And then for the nose, you want to add an extra piece of clay to make it more protruding than the rest of the sculpture. Next, we're going to be adding the ears, and because these are higher up on the head, I first added some clay as a base, and then made the ears themselves. I did my best in this video to show you more kind of work in progress of the different steps, both before and after adding the fur, so hopefully that helps. The carrots I showed in the beginning and end clips are from my grocery tutorial, so I'm going to be linking that in the info box. I pre-baked the head before I started working on the body, and then I pre-baked again before adding the paws. Because this is such a simple sculpture, you don't really have to pre-bake at all, so it's completely up to you. One of the reasons why I chose to make this bunny is actually because I still haven't made the hamster cage. Unfortunately, the hamster I made has been sold, as well as the guinea pigs I made. So I'm going to make a video just trying to combine different accessories to fit more small animals. Next we're going to be adding the fur. I chose to use cruelty free angar for the bunny itself and then I used white mohair for the whiskers. Which of course is cruelty free as well. If you want to see the different types of fur and hair I use, where I get it and the glue I use to attach it, I do have a video about it on my channel. And in that video I also show some man-made fibers which are good alternatives if you don't want to use animal fibers. I first covered up the back and sides of the body, and once the glue had set, I trimmed it to get a better idea of the shape. Next up, I added some fur to the belly. And I then added fur to the head. For the ears and paws, I used flocking powder, which you can make by just cutting your fibers into really tiny pieces. And once that glue had set, I just used a brush to brush off any excess fur. For 
the shading, I first used some soft pastel. I mainly used a dark brown for the base color as well as some details around the nose and paws. I also used a pinkish flesh tone type of color for near the nose and paws. And then I used a tiny bit of grey to create some natural looking shadows. I applied most of it with a dry brush and then when making the lines near the paws and nose, I did use a wet brush. Lastly, I used a tiny bit of black acrylic paint. I sealed it with a fixative to protect the pastel, and the fixative I use is the same one I showed in my art supply video. And then lastly, I added some mohair for the whiskers. Really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next tutorial.